Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In our previous video on Apex, we have seen how we can create list of values and how we can use them in a page. I have said you that we'll be creating another list of values uh, wherein we'll be populating the new list of values based on the stream selected. If you have not checked out my previous video, I'll request you to please have a look. I'll share that in the description. So starting our today's video, I'll create one more item. I'll name it as uh, subject. I'll make it as type to be select list. So now here we will not be using a uh, shared component okay we'll be uh, driving the list of value from sql query eventually in the video i'll use from the shared component also so for now we'll just use the um, uh, this your from sql query okay so select subject id subject name from stream subjects okay where stream id equal to the component value p4 stream now in the cascading list of values we have to specify the parent item okay so the parent item here will be stream p4 stream click on this run your page okay let me make the subject with to the same as the width of the stream uh, okay so for that make the column span to be 4 run the page so now we have our first LOV of stream. We'll select the stream and corresponding subject. So now you see, uh, instead of the subject name, we are getting IDs. Why so? I'll explain you. <coughs> now come to the SQL query. So when <coughs> we uh, dry, when we uh, create the list of values at the uh, shared component level we have an option to specify which would be our display column and which would be our display what will be our value the which will be going in the back end but when you are doing it directly from the sql query the first column the first column the field which you specify will be your display field and the next will be your value field so just interchange them just take subject name here paste it here and now click on OK. Run the page. Now you will see the subject list. So let us select another sub stream. So we have the corresponding subject. So this is how you do it from the uh, page item section. Now again I will want to do it from the list of values so for this click on the list of values click on create scratch it should be dynamic give the name as subject LOV okay click on next now here in the SQL query uh, once again uh, Okay, yeah, it's subject LOV or I'll give it as subject LOV. Okay. Now SQL query. Select. One second, one second. Let me go back. Why the query is populating on its own? Haven't we chose yeah, create from scratch? Mm, I'll give the name as sub LOV okay dynamic next now <coughs> here
here go to SQL query now give uh, select subject ID subject name from stream subjects where stream ID now uh, why we now what we have discussed in a previous video we discussed that the list of values we wanted to be reusable when we created from a uh, shared component we want all the shared component items to be reusable but what if if we specify p4 uh, stream here every time it will look for the value from the page 4 we don't want that so for that so I'll show you how we can handle this just give p because we use stand on a standard basis p as the parameter give it this page item also now give colon now give app underscore page underscore id so it will take the page id for here it is 4 when you use this shared component on uh, page 2 it will take that value and so on validate it click on next okay so return column should be subject id display column should be subject name fine for us click on create now come to a page component subject now here instead of sql query select the shared component choose your subject lov and now run it now we have digital pro signal processing for civil we have the corresponding subjects and so on hope you would have understood the concept of cascading list of values uh, before completing this video uh, here you see that uh, we have stream and stream salary and when you go to the uh, shared component list of you have only stream so you are not able to see where is streams and when you reuse the component the similar name creates confusion so in the next video i'll show you how we can delete our shared components which is not in use if you like the video subscribe my channel share it with your friends thank you